Hi everyone, I recently showed an adapter like this that can convert a regular light socket into an AC outlet. So if I unscrew this bulb and then screw in our adapter, so now not only do we have our light bulb, but we also have an AC outlet where we can plug in small appliances like this fan for example. Now these adapters are incredibly cheap. I paid less than one dollar for this. So what I'm going to show you today you should not try and recreate because it's just not worth making your own adapter when you can buy them so cheaply. But I just want to do one as a fun experiment. But do not try and recreate this at home. Just go and buy the adapters because they do have proper safety ratings and you know they're so cheap. Now we don't need much to make our own. I have this old extension which has the plug cut off and then I have an old CFL bulb which doesn't work anymore. Now what we need to try and do is separate the bulb part from the electronics part. Now a word of warning here, if you break this glass the gas is going to escape and it's potentially toxic. So try not to break the glass and if you do you're going to have to leave the room immediately and try and air it out. Now often with these you can just kind of wiggle them back and forth or try and pry something in here and they'll open up. So I'm going to use my screwdriver just to try and pry this apart because I don't want to risk breaking the glass. There you go, you can see it's starting to open up. So now you can see the electronics inside. All we need is the wires here. So we're going to snip it off the board and you should be careful when you're working on these because there is a potential that the capacitors inside are still holding a charge. And now we can get rid of this. I normally keep these boards for my scrap bin because you can make interesting stuff from them. So the next part is just to strip back the wires a little bit. This is a little bit awkward because these wires aren't very long. So now you can see we've got two bare connectors. One of them's going here and one of them's going to the outside. And the idea now is to solder these two wires to these two wires. But first of all, I'm gonna put some heat shrink tubing onto my wire so that I can cover the connections later. Now I've pre-tinned my wires just to make it a little bit easier to join them together. So that's one wire joined. So now I've got both wires soldered together. I'll admit they're not the best connections ever, but I'm not planning to actually use this long term. I just wanted to try out the idea of how fast you could make one of these if there was some kind of emergency circumstances. So now my heat shrink tubing is over here. All I have to do is use a lighter to make it shrink and cover those connections. And this will make sure that they don't short out against each other and that I don't touch them by accident. Now one thing to bear in mind is these wires may not be that securely connected to this. So if I was actually making this for an emergency situation, I'd probably fill that in with hot glue or resin or some kind of filler that can make sure those wires are completely secure. Because otherwise I'm sure once you screw this in once or twice, those wires will probably come loose. So here's my finished adapter ready to screw in. And we should now have power available here. Let's plug in our fan and see if it works. There you go. Now of course this is just a demonstration light holder. Normally this would be inside a bedside lamp or for instance the socket that you have in your ceiling. Um, but like I said don't try this at home because you can buy these proper adapters so cheap it's not worth risking trying to make one yourself. But if the apocalypse comes and for some reason you need to run some AC appliances off a light bulb socket, you could theoretically make one of these. So if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.